Hi, I'm Jenna. And I'm Erin. Welcome to Between Two Filing Cabinets, where we bring you tips, trends, troubles, and stories from HR. And in our last episode, we talked about how to make sure that your training has a lasting impact and that it's not just an in and out one time uh, deal, but really how do you make sure that it affects change in the long term. And Erin, as you and I were talking, I thought you had a great tip um, to sort of build off of what we talked about last week. Oh, thanks, Jenna. So, yeah, so I wanted to talk about HR Academy. We offer mm -hmm. it twice a year. You know, you and Ryan do an excellent job on the compliance offerings, and there's also some other wonderful electives as well. And, you know, it occurred to me, just because we call it HR Academy, we really don't want to make it seem as if it's limited to HR professionals or that it would only be appropriate for HR professionals. It certainly is. That said, you know, when we do basics of supervision, we do do an employment law um, session, but it's, it's quick and it's good. It's good for spotting red flags, but I think that there's so much more supervisors can learn right. when it comes to HR and being that first line of defense. Yeah. Yeah. And in our classes, you know, I do find myself as the trainer of like telling if, you know, the HR professionals in that room, like, hey, this is something that you need to be taking back to your supervisors. This is something they need to be aware of. You need to make sure that they know what your policies are. So, you know, if they're in those classes where they do get the in-depth knowledge, it's even better. Um, and that being said, we also do get, you know, people that are not in that traditional HR role, but they have HR responsibilities because they're dealing with people, right? Exactly. And so, you know, classes like, um, documentation, that's not just an HR issue. Your supervisors, your managers have to understand what's good documentation, what's bad documentation, what needs to be documented and when. So a lot of the classes that we do have in the HR Academy are great for people that don't have that HR title. Excellent. And so I also wanted to ask you, Jenna, so one question I was thinking members might have is, okay, well, what are some of the benefits maybe of doing the HR Academy, like the whole series versus doing maybe just one or two selections um, that maybe I think are going to be the most pertinent? Right. Yeah, certainly one of the benefits is you get a cost reduction and who doesn't want that? So when you're enrolling in the Academy, the actual rate for um, individual classes decreases. You're paying up front for uh, a number of classes based on credits. Uh, but your overall, when you break it down, your per class um, cost is significantly uh, decreased. Another thing that I really like about that type of class is that when you're going through a series together, a lot of times you get the same people in the same classes, you build a relationship with them, they become resources for you after you leave the room. So we do often hear about people who, after they're done with our classes or just, you know, during, um, as they're going on, that they're connecting with each other, learning from each other, sharing ideas about what's working, what's not working, which I love to, to have uh, happen in uh, that. It's a great place to network, to brainstorm. Excellent. And then, you know, is there any concern or so people who are supervisors have attended before. So I just want to address a concern that some people might have like, oh, well, am I going to be in there with a bunch of people who, you know, know so much more about HR? Am I going to feel lost or stupid if I don't have um, as much of an HR background as a supervisor? Sure. Yeah. One of the things that we actually changed in um, sort of how we structured the classes this year was really to make classes applicable all different levels and so for example we have uh, our family leave series is a three-part series one's for just basic one's a little bit more advanced and one's for your uh, experts and so people can choose from those or go through them all same thing with our employment law class we have kind of a basic and introduction and then we have a part two which is more involved and sort of assumes that you've got some of that baseline knowledge so the classes are really designed to capture wherever you are and again, if HR isn't your, you know, your job title, it's not what you're focusing on, you can attend some of those basic classes and get what you need to be effective in those areas that as a supervisor or manager, understanding the basics of what you were talking about. Some of it is just spotting issues, um, but then taking it to the next level of actually being able to respond to them, to be a better support to your employees and to your HR team as well, of taking a little bit off of their plate if you're able to handle a little bit more. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, there's only so much in basics of supervision that we can cover in that like hour and a half. And I think it does a really good job on some really big issues like harassment. But I really think that 
there are other topics that could be explored more deeply that, you know, really just even for the red flag kind of catching as well. So is it, what's the process? What, so if somebody's watching now, uh, what, what would the process be? When is, is there a cutoff date or how does one, how does one enroll in the academy? Yeah, so you can actually go to our website at cascadeemployers.com and we have a tab that is for our HR Academy. You can enroll at any time. Um, so our cycle of classes starts every September and February, but it's every year that we're offering those classes. And so you can take them you know, as fast or as slow as you want, as you, as you have time. Um, but you're not, there's not a cutoff for enrollment. We want people if, you know, if they're so inspired in December that they can start taking classes. They're going all, all year round. And again, it's 22 credit. Uh, well, I can't remember the exact number of credit hours, but there's a sort of a fundamental and a professional track. And the difference is just based on the number of credit hours that you uh, decide that you want to, to have. A lot of our classes are also going to be available um, via webinar. And so we'll have live webinars, we'll have webinars on demand. So that'll make it even easier for people to access uh, the content, which will be great if you can't make it to our office or to one of our Portland uh, locations. We're trying to make it as easy as possible for, for people to get the content uh, in whatever way works for them. Excellent. Well, it sounds like we've got some tips. We're also getting some trends with online. And I think that it is the way of the future that management is going to be more brought into the picture and supervisors are going to be more brought into these roles. And I guess for stories, well, people can sign up and hear some great stories in person in some of our classes. Yeah, I, I love that. We have so many stories to share. I mean, obviously working with all of the, the different companies that we work with, we'll protect your names and your identities. Uh, but we, we do, we have great stories that just are, are great learning opportunities for other uh, organizations as well. Excellent. So let's uh, file this one under HR Academy. It sounds just perfect. All right. Sounds good. Well, we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Thanks.